Wednesday the 9th. Okay. The 9th, okay. Yeah. Stan said, Pledge Allegiance. <coughs> Pledge Allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> Madam Secretary, has the May 16, 2018 meeting been properly noticed for the Sunshine Laws? Yes, Chairman, it has. Thank you very much. Have a roll call. Mr. Bello? Here. Mr. Hakevich? Here. Mr. Davis? Ms. Lee? Here. Councilman Limbo? Mr. McInone? Ms. O'Leary? Mr. Velosin? Here. Ms. Matilla? Chairman Ty? Here. We have Dennis Bello on the phone. <coughs> Conference call. Our first. Here. We have a quorum. We have a quorum. Okay. First, we have a memorialization of a uh, resolution for Bedell LLC site plan block 251, lot 1-01, Main Street. That's the bus company. <coughs> Do I have a uh, motion on that? I'll make that motion. Second. Second. Have any questions on the motion? If not, I'll take the roll call. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Hakevich? Yes. Ms. Lee? Yes. Mr. Velosin? Yes. Chairman Ty? Yes. <coughs> okay. All right. I have the acceptance of the April 4th minutes. If everybody's reviewed them, they've been in your, and the April 18th minutes, they're in your package. Everybody finds them in order. I need a motion to accept both of them. I'll make um, that motion. Second. Any questions on the motion? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The minutes are now accepted. Okay. All right. There's a neat agenda. Agenda, communication agenda? No communication agenda, no. None. None. Mr. Downey, you are up. Yep. I will. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. My name is George Pressler. I'm an attorney at law of the state of New Jersey. I represent the, account, the applicant, uh, Robert Downey, who is uh, with me sitting in the front row to my right. Uh, Mr. Downey tonight is uh, seeking a minor subdivision approval from a uh, existing lot with a single family home. The property that is the subject of this application is located at 3365 Washington Road. It is also known as lot number two in block number 337. The property is located in an R75 zone. Uh, there is uh, no other, other application before this uh, uh, board other than the minor uh, su uh, subdivision approval. Uh, Mr. Downey has no plans at the present time to do any type of construction. If the subdivision is granted, uh, 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 and your uh, board attorney and I have discussed this, there is a pre-existing uh, deficiency setback violation for the, uh, the, the home, which will be subdivided if, if uh, this board approves it. Uh, we both bring this to your attention. Uh, I have one view on it. Uh, your board attorney has a different view on it. Uh, I think it's pre-existing and it's been in existence for a long time and it would be grandfathered in. Uh, with, that being so with that being said, uh, I have nothing further with regard to opening remarks. I would like to call my first witness, Mr. Downey, unless somebody has questions for me I'll, I'll just make a statement for the record Go ahead. that uh, I don't disagree that the uh, the minimum front yard setback is a pre-existing non-conformity where 20 feet is required and 16.7 feet is proposed for lot 2.01 
Um, I've just I've reviewed your notice. The notice does not <coughs> make any reference to bulk variances or any variances for that matter. It just has a general provision for any relief that might be sought uh, that happens during the meeting. M my view on this is, is that <coughs> the better approach is to consider uh, the existing deficiency as, as a variance and, and assuming the board uh, uh, grants the application that they should include the variance relief such that down the road you don't have any problems with the title, you don't have any problems with your deed if somebody should check and see that there was deficiency that was not otherwise specifically granted by the planning board. Now that triggers an issue of notice because you don't you didn't notice for it. However, uh, I do not see in this particular factual circumstance a problem with the notice provision um, because that condition exists now. It pre-existed your zoning ordinance. It's going to exist whether or not this subdivision is granted or not. So it's in effect grandfathered. So for the purposes of uh, of this application, uh, you know the board should if if they gr if they grant this application should. Uh, grant a bulk variance for the grandfather pre-existing non-conformity on lot 2.01 that will go into the resolution and then any future deed or question about title insurance or anything like that there'll never be a question as to the validity of that variance being granted by a land use board and I will join with that request uh, that's the only reason why I don't think you have to notice it because originally I said I thought you had to notice but on on second review um, because it is grandfather because it predates the ordinance because it exists um, you know, the prevailing covered. yeah you're covered all right so you're in favor of that anybody else have any other questions on that issue if not you can have your first witness thank you very much mr. chair mr. Downey <clears throat> Sir, you want to raise your right hand? Swear to testimony you're about to give the board in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I hope you got it. Yes. By the way, before we continue, I forgot to let's, if you can, sir, stipulate to the admission of our professional reports into evidence. That being the memo from Jay Cornell, the uh, borough engineer, dated May 16, 2018, and the report from John Leon Cavallo dated May 14, 2018. I'd ask that you agree to make those part of the record, enter them into evidence, certainly reserving your right to be heard with respect to things you agree to, don't agree to, or wish to be heard on. Is that acceptable? So to stipulate it. And just my last question to you is, are there any terms and conditions in either of the reports that are now in evidence and made part of the record? Is there anything you cannot do? No. So you agree to accept yes. terms and conditions that are contained in the two reports? I do. The record should so reflect that. Thank you. Bob, you've had an opportunity to uh, review uh, the planner's uh, report. Is that correct? I have. All right. And uh, if you tell me how long you've been a resident of uh, Sarah? 52 years. So you just moved in? <laughs> Uh, are you familiar with the area in which this application is? Yes. Uh, all right. C would you describe the, uh, the neighborhood and the surrounding area? Everything to the west of the property is in an R5 zone, uh, with the exception of uh, one property. It's, it is split in, in like two, but it's just over, it's over an acre. could be possibly two acres. The rest of the uh, neighborhood to this pro in this property and the rest of the neighborhood eastward is an R7 zone, and they're, you know, all, uh, they're both developments. So they, they're basically R5 zone is 50 by 100, and in Sheffield, uh, Sherwood Forest, the R7, roughly 7,500 square foot. All right, now it's already been stipulated uh, to the effect that at the present time you have no plans to develop the piece of property, is that correct? That's correct. All right, and uh, you would agree that you're going to maintain the property uh, so that it's, uh, 
uh, if there's a lawn there or trees or bushes and things of that nature, you will take care of that? Yes. All right. Now, you don't think that the granting of the subdivision uh, in any way would have any negative effect about, uh, with regard to the existing neighborhood? I'm not going to let him answer that. Well, I, I, that, that, that's, that calls for expert planning testimony. You don't have any variances other than the grandfather variance in here, so it's not necessary to ask him that question. All right. And then he's not competent to give the opinion anyway. Well, with that being said, then I have, nothing, I have nothing further of this witness, and that's, that's our uh, application. Anybody have any questions of Mr. Downey or his lawyer about what's going on down here in the apple orchard? Uh, we're, we'll get to you on the board. If not, I need a motion. You can sit down. Thank you. I need a motion to open up the public. I'll make that motion. Get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Anybody from the public like to speak on this matter? I just had a couple of questions. You have to come, come forward, on sir. You have to give your name. And where you live? Uh, William O'Neill, 12 Carter Place. Sorry. William O'Neill, 12 Carter Place. I haven't seen you in a hundred years. Yeah. You know Figured who I you'd am? recognize the name, but. <laughs> Tommy Ty. Huh? I grew up down the street from oh, you. Oh, so <laughs> How the heck are you? All right, sir, can you raise um, your right hand? I'm sorry? I need to swear you in. We need, need to swear you in, in, Bill. Oh, I'm sorry. Raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give the board in this matter is the truth, the whole truth. And nothing but the truth to help you, God? Yes. I just had a couple of questions, basically. I understand it's coming forward as just a subdivision. You don't have any plans to build. Um, my question was, I live, you know, just adjacent to it. Uh, it's just a big patch of woods right now. I was wondering if you had any plans to do anything with the property other than formally go forward with the subdivision right now, you know, whether it be trees or fill or, or anything like that or just just yeah you can answer there's stand come on up Bob. just stand up you, you're still in the road sir yes you do anything we might clean up the property there were some numbers that my surveyor actually couldn't get because the property is quite overgrown so yeah. if anything we're going to clean it up a little bit okay but but uh, nothing more i mean uh, and i guess i'm down the road well I mean, I did buy it to build something. Yeah, right absolutely. now, we don't have any plans. If we do, we're going to you know, go through the proper channels, make sure we have the yeah. proper permits or required. So there's no plan submitted right now, like Correct. showing, showing uh, homes and there's setbacks nothing, no. and yards and where, where things will be in relationship bo to borders between Sherwood Forest and There's not. We're Carter just Place. looking to actually just subdivide that. Did you pr there's the lot, the whole lot, the, the home on Washington Avenue, the, the entire lot? Should I? out the plans I'm sorry I, if I was should have looked did at you take earlier. a look at the plans you can pull out the plans and look okay. at it. you want to show them something fine you want to look at the plans go ahead so did this you is, purchase this the whole thing? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. This, this is the homeowner right behind you. Oh, okay. Thank Guys, you can't have a private conversation. You're on the, yeah, you're yeah, on the record. You're on the record. So you okay, I was asking him uh, whether or not. If you have a question or a comment, we need to hear it so that we know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, my question was simple. I'm very familiar with the area, and I was wondering if it included the purchase of the corner lot, the existing where the existing residence is on Washington Road, or whether well, that's it was correct. just. That's correct. It's not correct. It's not. And that's the answer for that. Okay, I don't have anything further. I just wanted sure. to be familiar with it. It's right in the backyard. So. All right, thank you. Right, so you, sure are you in your mother's house? Yes. Okay. Yeah, first step. All right, five, good. Six years ago. Good. Yeah. Sir, can you raise I, your right hand for me? You swear the testimony you're about to give the board in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall be God? Yes, I do. Could you give us your name and address for the My record? name is Ernie Ernest Hendry, H E N D R Y. I live at Two Carter. I live in his block. My, I'm right in the dead end if you know the area. Who's, who's his block? Because we can't. You, you live next to my father. I live, I live diagonally across from your father. I know you. Who are you? Father living? was my first friend in the, I had in the neighborhood. So, <laughs> like his father was early on my Carter. I'm just trying to understand now. They just said he, he, the the home that exists now, the 3395, is it? 
that's not be that's staying as it is. Okay. Yes. Because I, I mean, again, this is the first time I ever looked at a map like this. So, Mr. Chairman, if I may, let me just clarify what's happening because I don't think the specifics were discussed. Yeah. The entire parcel is one lot at the yeah, present time. That I know. He's yeah. proposing to subdivide 17,016 square feet yeah. and create a new lot for that existing house. Okay. So the balance of the property, which is 54,785 square feet, that's going to be a new lot, and that's what he's purchasing. So the existing house is going to remain on a new, smaller lot. Mr. Downey's purchasing over an acre of the property, and he has no development plans at this point in time. Okay. I thought... When I was looking up, when I, I actually went up there yesterday, up to the office, and I thought they said they were going to build two houses there or two something there, and that's yeah. Mis I misunderstood. I misunderstood that. Just again, just for clarification, yeah. based on his subdivision, Mr. Downey would have the ability to only build one house oh, because okay. it is a conforming lot. He says he has no plans, but he can only build one lot. If he wanted to build any more than that in the future, he would have to come back and get another subdivision approved by the board. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to get an explanation. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for the explanation. Okay. Mr. Bain, how are you? I'm fine. I uh, like that tie you got on. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know where I got mine because my wife buys them. I know where I got mine, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I rep my name is Casper P. Bain, Jr. I'm an attorney at law state in Jersey. I represent the property owner. And if you re may recall, I appeared before this board maybe a year ago or so concerning an informal. Our, my purpose here tonight is simply to um, request that if the board should see fit to approve this, and we're obviously asking that you do, uh, that you place a condition in the resolution that provides that uh, when the property is developed in the future, whether it be for one family or more, that um, the drainage uh, not exceed uh, to my client's remaining property area, not exceed the drainage that presently goes to that site because it's obviously slopes towards my client's house. And it's my understanding uh, in discussions with uh, <coughs> Mr. Pressler, the applicant's attorney, uh, that they will consent to such a res uh, condition being placed in your resolution. And the reason we ask for that is if, in fact, he builds just one house on this property, we won't have another bite at this apple. We, he can get the permits through the construction office, and he would not have to appear uh, back before this board or, or the uh, uh, Board of Adjustment. So that's why we make that request. Mr. Bame, do you have any, uh, any reservations about putting uh, <coughs> so we could put the um, Grant the block variance for the old, the old, the old property, the original property. No, I, I agree with uh, council's uh, clean that up. understanding of what that is. I think it's it's just uh, makes everything. Nobody's going to move that house or move it back. Yeah, I oh, don't think I anybody mean, can it require just makes that. It neater. So that's fine. Okay, uh, not a problem. Hey, do you have any comment on? I mean, do you raise that in your report? Is that an issue? Well, at this point, there's no development, so that right, issue so has not been raised. I think what Mr. Bame is requesting that if there's a building permit application submitted for a single-family house, that calculations be provided to confirm that the runoff that exists onto the property now that his yeah. client owns is not going to be increased, increased by that development. Right. And I'm if request, that's requesting the line, that's that the that be in this looking. resolution that, would, that you passed that would be in this, uh, tonight, if in fact right. you do. If for some reason there's a, a subdivision and multiple houses are going to be built, that would more than likely be addressed as part of a future application. But in case it's just one house, right. then it would be addressed as a condition yeah. of approval for this applicant. Okay. Everybody square with that? Mr. Mm -hmm. Preston, you agree with that representation? I have no objection to that. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, you're up. Give us your name and your address and we'll swear you in. Hi, my name is Larissa Avisado. Um, I'm for Warwick Road. Can you raise your right hand, ma'am? You swear the testimony you're about to give the board in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so have you got? Yes, yes. Um, so I'm assuming the lot that we're talking about is right adjacent to my property? I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not can familiar I, can with I the Can I just blueprint. point it out? Just point it out to her, all right, Bob? <laughs> is this is the entire property as it exists now this would be the line that would delineate the two this line here 
This is that bump out. Okay, so my house. I, I'm not sure which. I don't know which one is four. Are you on the bend? Um, I'm number four, so I'm right around the bend. So the bend Ms. is There's over an here. There's overgrown yeah, lot Ms. between two houses. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, if I, I could just clarify. I think your property is across the street from this lot. Based on it's the across the street? Oh, I thought it was the lot that was like if, if my backyard on, against no. the. If, if you're on Washington Road and you make a left onto Warwick, your house is on the right hand side. Correct? Right. It's right. the across first the house on the, on right. the right. Correct. Across the street from you, there's a house on the corner and there's a long vacant lot. Mm -hmm. That's this application. That's the one. Okay. Because there's also a vacant lot that I understood that was like in question or owned by a property between two homes that is overgrown. There was, you know, from Sandy, there was a tree that fall in that area, and I didn't know if that was the lot that we were discussing. That lot is on Washington Road. Right. That's that lot on is on Washington, Washington Road, Road yeah. so which is right adjacent right, to you. my lot. That if so, I don't know if that's the lot we're referring to that no, plans of any this is developing across, across later. This the street from you. Okay. Okay. Then. You're good. I'm good then. Thank you. That's it. Only question. Anybody else? Come on up. Name where you live, and we'll swear you in. James Allegra. Could you take the mic, please? James Allegra, 9 Warwick Road. I want to raise your right hand, sir. I swear the testimony you've had to give the word in this matter. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall be God. For this lot right now, it's zoned R7. Is there any way to rezone it in the future with a variance or any legal loophole to make this a uh, ability to build a multifamily home on this? We don't do that. Planning board doesn't rezone. No, we don't. Okay. The, the rezoning is is done by the zoning board. Okay. It's done by the planning, but by the governing body. Okay. But, but, think, but do you know if there uh, the ability to do so? The applicant could make an application if he wants to subdivide the property and build R7 conforming lots. He would have to come back to this board for an approval. Mm -hmm. If he wanted to get a variance to build something that's not permitted, he would have to go to the zoning board and get okay. a variance. But since you're within 200 feet, you would be notified, so you'd have an, an opportunity to sure. review at that particular time. Okay. Okay. That's all. Any 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 time you're 200 feet away from a piece of property that's going to be anything done with you, you have a right to know. So you'll be notified by certified mail okay. if anything happens. Okay. All right. All right. Any other questions, ma'am? You just came in. You good? Okay. Everybody else. Close. Motion Second. to close. Second. All in favor of closing public? Aye. Aye. All right. We have a resolution for a minor subdivision with two conditions. One about the drainage for uh, a single family house and to grant the um, past variance on block uh, on lot 2.01. Is that correct? Well, the pre existing the pre existing pre-existing deficiency that's there we're going to grant it as a board on lot 2.01 and and it will comply with the planners report and comply with the engineers and the, engi and, and the engineers report I have a motion for that I'll make that motion we have a second second <coughs> any question on a motion if not I'll have a vote <coughs> Mr. Bellow? Yes. Mr. Hakevich? Yes. Ms. Lee? Yes. Mr. Velosen? Yes. Chairman Tai? Yes. Application granted. <coughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks for building and shareable. Thank you, Casper, from all the way. Thank you thank still you. down South Jersey? Yeah. Oh, man, you got a ride. Yeah. 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 Mr. Bellow, thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, we, no, hold on, we need hold on. We need, we need, we need you to close the meeting. We need, we need you to cancel the meeting. Okay. Hold on. All right. Thank you. We're going to cancel June 6th meeting. Guys, we need to have, we're still in the meeting here. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Pop, could you just take it out? We have to finish our meeting. Thank you. Um, we're going to cancel the June 6th meeting. We're going to uphold the June 20th meeting, and that should do us for now. Well, we may not have that June 20th meeting. I still well, have we're, we're going we're gonna to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Okay. okay. So, any other? Make a motion on that. 
to cancel the June 6th meeting? I'll make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any other business before the board? If not, any, you need a motion to open up the public session? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Seeing anybody from the public like to speak? Anybody from the public like to speak? If not, I'll take a motion to close the public. Motion to close. Yes. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. I'll make a motion. I have a motion to adjourn. Make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much, Mr. Bello. Thank you for coming aboard. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. You I feel a little better now. I'm glad to hear That's that. That's good. I'm glad you're not dizzy anymore. Bye. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. I Bye. appreciate it. Thank you. That's it. We're out of here. John's two there. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Mark. Uh, very welcome. I don't know. Lucky yeah. thing we made it, though, Danny, right? Hey. Did you give him my invoices? I, I, yeah, I'm giving them right now. Here, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> Listen, my other wife. <laughs> my other wife. Hey, listen, you know, there's a lot of downtime, so I'm going to bring you to the meeting. Huh? A lot of downtime, so I'm going to bring you to the meeting.